The sun is moving toward a big change in its magnetic field. In fact, the poles are about to switch, and that could have a major effect on perhaps our entire solar system. According to NASA, a change that could quite possibly, uh, if all goes, uh, well, we don't know for sure, but if there are amazing solar storms, electronic communications could be uh, threatened. Uh, to give us some sense of what is happening here in the solar maximum is Dr. Lika Guhatha-Kurta astrophysicist, lead scientist for NASA's Living with the Star initiative. Doctor, it's great to have you with us. Uh, this is exciting stuff. Uh, I, I don't think most people know that uh, the activity on our, our sun uh, is the least it's been for a hundred years, that this maximum looks an awful lot like a minimum, doesn't it? Actually, it does. Um, uh, it, it's uh, really interesting, you know. Uh, many people don't even think of sun as a star simply because we see it in our day sky. We are uh, used to associating stars with night sky. So yes, um, uh, what's going on in the sun uh, as a star and uh, how that affects us is uh, really something that many people don't know. And, and what, so is it, what is it risk here in your judgment potentially? as we watch the poles of the sun actually reverse uh, themselves as they do every 11 years in the, in the solar cycle. Uh, give us a sense of that. So as you mentioned, right, I mean, this is kind of almost clockwork. The sun goes through an activity phase called the solar cycle when the magnetic field on the sun actually goes through peaking and then it goes down. It goes through ups and downs. And this happens about every 11 years, and so the actual uh, magnetic field in the poles goes through a reversal every 11 years. So the, the, what we are witnessing is not really unprecedented because this has happened over and over again. And in the last 50 years of space age, what we have been able to do is study this phenomenon with uh, better and better resolution telescopes. We are getting a better uh, insight into, uh, in, uh, into what's actually happening on the sun and can we predict some of this phenomenon with sufficient accuracy that people can then begin to kind of take some preventive measures because these activity on the sun, the solar cycle, can cause um, all kinds of effects like space weather space weather uh, affecting our satellite uh, communications, uh, affecting our power grid, if indeed coronal uh, ejections, the solar flares are strong enough, powerful enough, uh, and the influence on our magnetosphere itself, our gravity, our, uh, our polar uh, system itself. Uh, what are your expectations for the next few months? What can we expect as the sun goes, uh, begins its transition uh, from the uh, peak uh, activity uh, solar maximum. So what, what's happening right now, the fact that we are able to actually witness that the uh, field, the polar field of the sun is actually uh, reversing, that tells us that we are very close to solar maximum. Solar maximum is when we have sunspots that kind of pepper the surface of the sun. These are dark regions and these are regions of very strong magnetic field. In fact, these dark regions, you know, if you took one of them out from the surface would be very bright but they are dark because of the strong magnetic field which inhibits essentially energy and flow into this region and the and, with about 45 seconds left doctor do you expect this to have an impact here on earth uh, so solar maximum means we'll have greater number of solar storms. Solar storms can always have impact on our uh, technologically dependent society. These observations are used by NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center to provide alerts and forecasting to the rest of the nation. So right. I think we are well prepared. All right. Well, that's, that's reassuring, and we thank you for being here to reassure us. Lika Guhatha-Kurta, thank you very much. And thank that's you. it for us tonight.